what is up guys and girls? We are at episode six. I am super stoked and excited to present the next community spotlight. This weather right now that we are having is crazy. It is lovely out. We're looking at 54 degrees right now. In today's episode, we will categorize this e-bike enthusiast as the entertainer. Reason being, he has put out so much content that is wildly entertaining. Every time I watch it, it puts a smile on my face as I'm sure it does to you. So in today's episode, we will learn a little bit more about this individual and his involvement with the community. Now on today's episode, our e-bike enthusiast can be described as charming, handsome. He is fit and just a little bit perverted. His content is suitable for a mature audience. So without further ado, let's get into this one. I present you with episode six of the e-bike community spotlight. I'm Teo. I am. I run the. Well, I kind of run the media here. I kind of do customer service here. I kind of take care of the bikes here. I kind of help Matt here. We kind of we have all multiple roles here at Spark. Uh, this is Spark Cycle Works, by the way. So yeah, uh, I do a lot of the media here, and uh, we take care of the bikes. We build the bikes here. Also, my call sign, my my fly, my flight name is Kitten Pie sixty eight. You can catch that on the uh, Instagram, and I think we have a TikTok. And I think I got everything else on YouTube and whatever. But the other one is the Spark Cycle Works TikTok, the Spark Cycle Works Instagram, and the Spark Cycle Works YouTube. So that's something to check out. But yeah, Kitten Pie 68, if you're wanting to know. So basically, the way I got involved in Spark, the way I got involved with e bikes was because of Spark. Um, I was not involved in e bikes, I wasn't involved with anything, not motorcycles, not scooters, nothing with two wheels, nothing. I swear, for real. The way it all started was with Matt. Matt's idea was to start Spark Cycle Works. I've known Matt since I was 14. We used to play music together. I had a band in high school and he played a couple times in it and then we were kind of doing our own thing so he wasn't playing it anymore. And then, and then we went to college, you know, life just happens, right? So after college, Matt's working and then once a week we would get together and, and jam. Right, and just two, he, he, we would do multiple things. I'd play guitar and piano, he played guitar and piano, we both sang. Matt's a killer production dude, so he ran the logic and edited it all together. And we have like, we had like underground little, little sh like performances and shit, right? In the middle of all that, I remember this distinctly because I remember my answer, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Matt was like, <clears throat> I've been checking out, I've been hearing so much about e bikes, and I was like, and I didn't give, I didn't care. I swear to God, I didn't care. And I don't know if that, that looks badly at me, but this was Matt's idea. So he, he got into it. He got into it really hard and he was really interested in doing the bikes. And he's like, I think, I think I'm going to get into this. And I was like, don't do it, man. <laughs> I told him not to do it. And uh, fucking, so that was probably 2016, 2017. It was early. Like it, bikes were not big here. Not even in California, bikes were not big here. Bikes were big in Asia, in China, the, that market, the e-bikes I'm talking, like none of the mopeds even were things yet. And so I remember Matt like set up Spark, came up with the name Sp Spark Cycle Works. And I wouldn't say the whole time I was discouraging him, but <laughs> I was actively discouraging him <laughs> from like the get go. And, uh, and then it just kept building, man. It kept getting bigger, people liked it. The bikes, all the, all the bikes that we had, then they sold, I should say we, the bikes he had sold. Um, I started, he started using me for stuff like this, like videos or the audio. I did, a, like, I did some like early commercials, just like my audio. I was like, spark cycle, like that kind of shit, right? Find your confidence on an electric bike. Check us out at sparkcycleworks.com or come test ride one today. And, uh, and again, it was so small. It was, I think it was just Matt for like the first 
two years, two or three years, two and a half years. It was just Matt getting the bikes, building the bikes, doing the, the promo stuff, selling them, like all the money stuff. All was Matt. And then every, once a week, I'd be like, hey, man, when we would do the jam, he was still jamming with me. And I'd be like, hey, how's the bike company going? <laughs> like, he's like, oh, it's pretty good. Can I use you for this? So that's how I started getting more involved. And then probably by 2020, when he designed the Bandit, this is the Mad Max Bandit. That's the Jazz Cup Bandit. But it was basically that frame that he came up with. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was the Project Scorpion. That's an early video. You might want to cut that in because that was a popular video. Um, he did Project Scorpion, so that was a dual motor. It was an early, early dual motor. I don't know if there were that many on the, like, that were existing. There was definitely no production ones, I don't think. I'm not going to say Matt was the inventor of the dual motor, but I'm sure somebody else came up with it. But it was a really popular video. It got like 30,000 views or something on YouTube. And that was Project Scorpion. And he had, it was an early prototype of the Bandit. And then we moved to this, that, that frame with the, the larger uh, control panel. But basically that frame. Um, and that was probably 2020 and then 2020 I was getting more involved with like videos Oh my god, we're back again. Is that too loud dude? Sorry. We're doing episode four. One, two, three, four. We shot a, like a, a promotional like it was almost like a commercial but it was on YouTube and that I think that got a good following. That probably had like 20,000 views or something like that and uh, and then I was like all right I like this too much. I was having so much fun doing the videos because it was so much easy, so easy for me, um, and it was just fun. I could just be an idiot and like get paid for it. Uh, oh, the Tandemonium. That's what sealed the deal. Tandemonium. <laughs> there might be some old footage that maybe you can cut in. Tandemonium was we took a, a tandem bike, not electric, put on two hub motors from the front and the back, and these jacked brakes. I mean, they, they were like. Fucking, they were just like classic like pinch brakes. Like when you try to stop this thing, I could see the, the brakes flexing off of the frame. Yeah, it was, it was totally jacked. It had, you have two people on there, so that's like 300 pounds. And so we used to pick up people from the brewery, the local brewery, hammered. <laughs> I wasn't hammered, they were trashed. And then we'd be like, hey, do you wanna, we did it like cash cab. So we're like, hey, I got some trivia questions for you, I'll pay you out. Everyone's just trashed, so they're like, yeah, I'll do it. We rigged the whole thing up with lights. We had like a whole camera crew. I don't, did you ever meet my, my buddy Ryan Keckler? He like did the whole camera crew. We're about to go around and around. We're gonna pick people up, preferably drunk, and uh, we're gonna ask them some questions. If they get them right, we're gonna give them money. You've heard this before. If they get them wrong, I'll kick them off my bike. That's it. For the first round, it's gonna be an easy question. You're gonna get one dollar. For the second question, it's a little bit harder. You're gonna get two. And uh, that was a lot of fun. So that's when I was like doing more of that stuff. I was like, all right, I, I could be involved in Spark Cycle Works for sure. And from that, then I got, I started to fall in love with like the actual cycling and riding and stuff. So I'm telling you right now, I was not an experienced rider at all. I should tell you, Matt has always been interested in bikes. I should have said that in the video. But Matt's always been interested in bikes. He worked at a bike shop in high school, and he's just an engineer. He's been an engineer his whole his whole fucking life. Uh, Matt and I have been like creative partners on. I, I say partners with an asterisk. Now we're like professional creative partners. Musically, we're we're creative partners. But in high school, we were doing like school projects together and shit. Like we were doing Lego claymation, like uh, stop motion and shit, like for for English projects and shit. And uh, anyway, the point is, I'm saying is that Matt was always building shit. Uh, he one time built a double chained, so the sprocket it went the sprocket went to the front wheel and the back wheel, so it was a dual spin. He was building all kinds of shit. He built a trebuchet out of car batteries as the counterweight, and we were launching like watermelons and shit. He was a mad scientist. So the reason I'm telling you that story is to tell you this story. When we were fucking around with the bikes. He, did he get a unicycle or did our buddy Cole get a unicycle? I think our buddy Cole got a unicycle. And we were fucking just drinking beer and trying to find a fucking ride a unicycle. <laughs> and it was hard as hell. Hard as hell. And they got pretty good at it. I got a couple, 
couple spins. But Chris got really, our buddy Chris got really, really good at it. But Matt's always been interested in my uh, bicycles. I, I didn't, I wasn't into e-bikes. I wasn't. But then getting involved in Spark because of Matt and because of the content, then I was like, okay, this is a lot of fun. And then, we, and then we started riding. I started getting more comfortable. Now I'm into motorcycles too. So, yo. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the long answer to that. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to suggest that everybody subscribes to him subscribe. so you can follow your journey. That's right, my, my learning journey. Yeah. Obviously, in the Northeast, we're cursed with some pretty gnarly winters. Um, and, you know, it goes up and down. You get, a, you get a, a nice warm day. Like, we got lucky in October and lucky in November. It's just starting to get cold, just starting to get dark. Obviously, daylight savings is over. Um, so, yeah, the riding season is, is shortening up. Um, we will not be riding as much, although you psychos in the city will be. You ride through anything, so <laughs> glove up, baby, helmet up. Um, but out here in Connecticut, it's, yeah, riding season is definitely coming to a close. So some things that are coming down the pipeline for us and me, and it's kind of intertwined. It's kind of intertwined here. So the new building is a big, it's going to be a big move for us. It's going to be literally a move and then also like a big like figurative move for us. Um, we'll have more space. We'll be able to do more stuff. I can't tell you exactly what that is, but there's, there's projects in, that coming down the line. Um, so that's, that's a big thing. The other main thing for me is I get to focus a little bit more on content, which is my favorite. Um, doing the funny videos. Um, during the, when the peak season's kind of chilling out a little bit, we're not getting as many co people coming in. Um, you guys obviously are invited as always, but customers and stuff. Um, so I get to film a little bit more dumb stuff, a little bit more funny stuff. I get to write a little bit more, get some sketches going, try to entertain you lunatics. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be focusing on that. Um, Matt and I are always doing music, so that's always good. Uh, maybe we'll, maybe with some of our music is going to show up in some of the uh, videos. Um, the other thing that I, I want to focus on, this is something Matt and I have been talking about, um, that Matt really wants. Uh, Matt and I are big, well for me, I'm a big snowboarder. Um, I love like snowboard footage, like um, uh, uh, why can't I think of <laughs> Gravity Research? That's Jeremy Jones's company, and uh, and I'm sorry. What is this? What is this? It's not Gravity Research. It's Teton Research. That's Jeremy Jones's company, um, and then, like Thrasher Mag and like Transworld Snow and all that stuff. And then we both, he and I both love skate videos, like skateboarding. And then he also loves like skates, like the four four skates. So we're always looking at like videos like that. And like we kind of want to do something like that, like the fisheye lens stuff and like some cool riding, like some serious stuff, some like cool shots of that, like in that style of like not giving a fuck and just people out there doing their thing. Like it doesn't even have to be us riding. I'd love to get, I'd love to come in the city and get you guys like in the, in the wild. I love that. Um, so like some serious stuff that we think will be coming down the line, like some cool videos um, in that style. We just, I just love like skateboard videos. Like someone does a gnarly trick and like, on a whole set, especially the NYC ride uh, borders are those guys are are hardcore, um, and then obviously for me like snowboarding, I just love that so much. So serious stuff, funny stuff, video stuff is definitely projects that I'm gonna be focusing on related to riding. So we'll definitely be getting some solid riding in. We're hoping for Project Javelin to be in production for next year. We don't know if that will be early next year or mid next year. It probably won't. Be late next year. It'll probably be done by then. We're getting very close. Project Javelin is coming. Um, so hopefully by next season we're riding Project Javelin in production. Um, that's a big, that's going to be a big push and a big development for the community, for us, for everybody, for New York. Let's get some, let's get some Javelins to New York, Matt. We're on prototype three, so it's going to be even sleeker. I'm telling you right now, it's, it's a good looking bike wow. and it's going to be easy to work on. It's going to be strong. It's going to be light. It's going to be fast. <laughs> Can't say that, but I can. I'll just say it's going to be fast. I won't say how fast. Yeah. It's going to be fast. Uh, Project, Project Javelin is the next, for the next season, um, that's the big push. 
So after watching this, this is a great example of how good e-bikes are. So not only can they get you out of the house, keep you active, but it can also change your life. They can take you to places that you wouldn't normally get to with a car as well as bringing you into a community of enthusiasts that share the same passion. So if you guys do not already know, I am out and about on a Spark Cycle Works Bandit. The Spark Cycle Works Bandit is a great looking bike. The Bandit offers a variety of customizable options to suit your style and with the rising costs of other e-bikes. This one is perfect for that person looking to get into the e-bike community at an affordable price. Right now the Bandit is in stock and on sale. You will not find a better deal. For the sale price of $3,095, for the sale price of $3,095, you get yourself the Bandit with a 52 volt 24.5 amp hour battery, both front and rear suspension, a range of up to 30 miles at speeds reaching up to 40 miles per hour you will not find a better deal than this and if you want to save an additional $100 off the sale price use my code Mr. E N Y C now to sweeten things up even more after you completed your 100 miles you are eligible for a free $150 and pet jacket. Which gives you bragging rights. You'll be able to brag to your friends about all the miles you've completed with patches that you can iron on or sew to the jacket, making you an official member of the Ampet Society. So I hope to see you out there one day. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate. Smash that like button. Leave a comment, because I get back to everybody. And if you want, please subscribe. So until the next episode, peace out, everybody. That kid's a mad scientist. We used to call him Inventor. Oh, yeah? Inventor. That's funny. We had a, uh, we had a uh, what's her name? Miss El Perino. She was a physics teacher, but she was from Ukraine. And uh, she had this very strong Ukrainian accent, and she would always go like, Matthew, this should not be happening, like, because he was just building shit. Uh, kid's, a, kid's a certified genius. He doesn't say it, and he's too uh, humble to admit it, but it's true. But we just make fun of him for it. We call him a smart piece of shit.